Networking is so much more than just attending networking events, and it can do a ton for you and your business. Hi, I'm Tiffany Kellogg, and today we're going to explore the question that we have here on the screen. How does networking help your business? And I'm going to cover a couple of different topics in today's conversation. We actually have five things that we're going to be sharing. First is what is networking? Because it's more than just going to events. And I think when people often hear networking, that's all they think about. And we're going to really explore it so much more than that. The second conversation that we're going to have is talking about the fact that there are three different kinds of networking events. And it's not just who you know, it's also how well you know them. So we're going to explore that conversation as well. We're going to talk about why you want to have a robust network and how do you get that robust network? How do we make that happen? Uh, then we're going to talk about how to grow your business through networking to get more referrals. And last but not least, our bonus kind of is how do we become the go-to person uh, for people in our network? Because the more people think about us, the better off that we're going to be. So we're going to start off and uh, I am trying something new today. This is my first live that I'm doing through Restream. And so I have captions. We're going to have us some fun. And we want to talk about what really is networking. And I thought I would look at a sentence definition of networking and that networking is the process of developing and activating your contacts to increase your business, enhance your knowledge and expand your sphere of influence. Now, I don't think it's less important because it's down there small. It just I can only fit so many characters in the caption, but I wanted to get it all on there. Networking is a process in developing and activating your contacts. So it is about those relationships. And the goal is that we get to increase our business, we get to enhance your knowledge, and lastly, expand your sphere of influence. Who are all those people that you know? How can we be out there? How can we be helping? And so to me, networking is, is so much more than just let me go to networking events. That's one way we get to meet the people that will be in our networks. And when it comes to networks, there's actually three different types of networks. And I like to break them up affectionately into your IRS, your information, your referral, and your support network. Now, a lot of times people easily think about referrals. Yes, when I'm networking, my goal is to get referrals. And there's actually eight different kinds of referral sources. And I've got another video that goes into to more of those different types of referral sources. And I'll talk in a minute about how you can get more referrals. Though I also want to acknowledge this information in your support network. So one of the things that you're able to do with networking is to enhance your knowledge. There are a lot of people out there that know things that we don't know yet. And heck, some of it's they don't even, we don't even know what we don't know. And so there's people out there that may have that knowledge that you're looking for. So it's really powerful. Now, the last is S, which stands for support. And I think ah, for so many entrepreneurs, for so many people, it's like, hey, I'm doing this all by myself. It's me. I'm an island and of myself, maybe. <sighs> and sometimes it's nice just to have somebody to bounce ideas off of or maybe pick up a, a coffee, something to, to help us out. Uh, we've actually created a sense of mastermind communities because I, we feel that this is something that's needed. Most entrepreneurs that I don't know do not have the budget to create a board of directors and, and maintain all of that, what that entails. And so for a, a couple bucks a month, we have our incentive mastermind communities where people can come together and bounce ideas off of each other, help support each other and their endeavors. And so I love the idea of the support network. And, and I mentioned earlier, it's not who you know, it's how well you know them. I think that when it comes to your networks, we've got this know, like, and trust that people talk about frequently. And so just because we know somebody at that no doesn't mean that they're going to be willing to help us. So we do have to think about, okay, how do we work? How do we strengthen? How do we develop these relationships? Because there's power in having those people around. Now, why do you want a robust network? <laughs> uh, it, we have the opportunity to surround ourselves with amazing people. And I think that's in, you know, what people believe in and what they have to offer. 
I also believe that you want to know those professions, especially if it's professions that can refer you all day, every day. If I'm a website designer and I don't know a videographer or a graphic designer or a copy editor, if I, if I don't have that person to offer to my client, then they're going to go find somebody on their own and that person's not likely to refer them back to you. And so to me, we want to have this robust network. We want to make sure that the professions of the people that we're talking to on a consistent basis are there and able to, to go back and forth. Now, I often get asked, oh, Tiffany, you know, I don't have the butcher, the baker and the candlestick maker. How in the world am I going to fill those gaps? No, Fred, I've got the, the answer for you. So how do we fill in the gaps? Three options. Number one, I don't like very much. And that's cold calling. <laughs> Not a fan of it. However, you can certainly go online and say, oh, there's the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker that I'm looking for. And let me reach out to them. The second option you have is you can go networking. Huh, that's what we're talking about today. Whether it's going to an event, being a part of a group and searching for people in those professions that you're looking for, you can certainly make that happen. The third and my absolute favorite way to help fill in the gaps with professions that I need in my network is simply by asking people that I already have in my network. I'm expanding my business and I need your help. Who do you know who? is the languaging that I typically will use. So let's say I call up somebody that I know, having a chat with them. Hey, before I let you off the phone, I'm expanding my business and I need your help. Who do you know who? You're on a Zoom call talking to a client, talking to a referral source. Hey, before I let you go, I'm expanding my business and I need your help. Who do you know who? Ask your network for that introduction because they'll be able to use their know, like, and trust to help create those referral relationships um, or just create the relationships if it's a gap that you have. Now, the fourth thing that we have on our list is how to grow your business through your network, which is about referrals. And again, if you've got some ideas on growing your business uh, through your network, if you wanna put those into the chat box, feel free to do so. And so if we think about how do I grow my business through, through my network, it is going to take some work. I think a lot of times people think, ah, oh, I know people, so now I'm going to get referrals. Uh, we like to say it's not net sit or net eat, it's network. We do actually have to work your network. And there's, to me, two key components to make that happen. And it's not one, then the other. It's almost like two sides of the coin. They go together. And that's we need to educate and motivate our referral network. So we want to educate them on here is what we do, how we do it whom we like to help. I like to say this is one of my favorite e-Tiffany's. That's well, e-Tiffany from Tiffany. The more your network knows, the more your business grows. So the more that they know about you and your business, the more referrals they're going to be able to pass you. The second thing that we have to do is motivate. And whether this is passing them a referral, giving a, a referral incentive, booking them a speaking engagement, promoting them on social media, uh, interviewing them on a Facebook, LinkedIn, live on a YouTube video, huge opportunities to make this happen. And I actually get really in depth in this conversation. I have an online program. It's called five steps to referral success. No charge for it. Uh, each week you get a tip on how to grow your business by referral. And I'll throw up the bit.ly there in the comments. Nope. Captions. Y'all have to let me know. Do we like the captions? Not necessary. Put that in the chat box too. Um, so, and see, now I get distracted squirrel, <laughs> but we do have the online coaching program. So week three and four are actually educate and motivate. Those are two of the five steps in creating your referral success. So pop on over online to get your free five week session. Now I did promise you a bonus. How do you become the go-to person in your network? And I think we have to first identify why it is we want to be the go-to person. If there's people that know you and every time they have a need, whether it's the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, the underwater basket weaver, the gardener, whatever it may be, they think, ah, Tiffany knows everyone. Let me give her a call, text, email, message, whatever. That means you're top of mind. 
And the goal is we want to stay at people's top of mind. And it's the reason why when we're in person, you will always see me with my socks. My, my second book, Knock the Socks Off Your Audience. My third book, Socks to Success. It's always about the socks because I want people to see the bright socks and think of me. Your goal is when people think of, oh, I need this person, I need this profession, I need this company, they think of you and they reach out to you. And so a simple way to do that, I have a screen share to help make it easy for those of you that are more visual versus audio. Uh, so you could send this and I say you could send it as letter. You could also send this as an email, could put this on social media, could be a video. Dear whomever, I really believe in the process of referral. So part of the service I provide is to make sure to refer my clients and associates to other qualified business people in the community. Attached is a list of areas in which I know very credible, ethical, and outstanding professionals. If you're looking for a professional in a specific area I've listed, please feel free to contact me. I would be glad to put you in touch with the people I know who provide those services. Sincerely, your name. This can be a very easy way to reach out and let people know that you are there, you are ready to help them find whomever you're looking for. Oh, and that list is professions, not names, because your goal is you want them to call you. You want to be able to create the referral and that will help you give and motivate the people in your network. And if you give more, hopefully you will gain more. Now, um, that is what we have. Michael, thank you so much. He's given us a little bit of love here as we talk about um, how, to, how to help your network use your business. So again, please leave your in the comment sections below how you've been able to use networking to help grow your business. And I look forward to seeing you soon for another exploring question with Tiffany. Thank you so very much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to get updates when we have new content coming out. And I love when you like and comment below. Let us know how you're going to use today's information.